Hello everyone, I would like to continue our discussion on EMC consideration. Today, I'm going to share with you some of the EMC real-life example. Okay, so today will be the part 3 series. This is my email. If you have any question or doubt regarding on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Okay, before I continue, I like you guys to help this channel by like and subscribe. Okay, if you have like and subscribe, thank you so much for your support. If you have not done so, please help this channel by like and subscribe, as this will improve the service of this channel. Thank you so much, guys. The first example I'm going to discuss is ABS anti lock braking system. Okay, this ABS system is used on both aircraft and automobile. They are actually very sensitive to electromagnetic interference. Accidents occur when the brake function improperly because electromagnetic interference actually disrupt the ABS control system. In the early years of ABS, some automobile equipped with ABS has severe braking problem along a certain stretch in the German. Okay, the brake were affected by nearby radio transmitter. So the near-term solution, they actually erect a mesh string along the real way to antenate away the EM fuel strength. Okay, so this is the first real-life example of EMC. Next, okay, some power wheelchair, okay, they actually experience Irrectical and unintentional movement okay, when police or fireman transmitter will activate nearby. So you can imagine okay, the police or fireman transmitter nearby. Okay, so some power wheel wheelchair actually experience some unusual behavior. Okay, so the behavior include sudden start okay, that cause the wheelchair to drive off. Okay, although there's no reported fatal injury, okay, FDA has ordered the manufacture of motorized wheelchair to shield them from EMI and to educate users on the potential of EMI hazard. Next, okay, a heart attack victim okay, was being taken to the hospital with a monitor actually attached to the patient. Okay, but every time the personnel actually turn on the radio to request medical advice, the machine actually shut down and the patient died. Okay, the reason is because the combination of insufficient immunity from the monitoring or defibrillator and excessive RFU strength from the radio actually caused it to be malfunctioned. Okay, so the short-term solution is the ambulance roof okay, has been changed from metal to fiber glass. Next, Okay, when electronic flight control system were first okay, added to the B-52 bomber autopilot system, okay, uncommand activation of real flight control surface. Okay, they always experience this when they actually activate their HF radio. Okay, so the cause is the spirals from the HF radio signal actually induce the signal into the wiring system. So this is another real-life example that occurred in the military. Next, between 1981 and 1987, altogether there are five Black Hawk Army helicopter. Actually, they crashed and they killed or have injured all on board okay, when they actually fly too near a radio broadcast transmitter. Okay, the reason is because there is insufficient immunity of flight control equipment subsystem against high intensity radiate fuel okay, which means that they don't provide enough immunity to the system to shield them against high power radiate fuel okay so therefore they produce an uncommon movement okay when they actually fly past a radio broadcast tower next okay the pioneer okay is actually the name of a remote pilot vehicle so there's a remote pilot vehicle which called a Pioneer here. Okay, so during a flight test performed by the US Navy in Jan 1987 on board this 
USS Lowa, okay, the pilot actually experienced a series of uncommon maneuver that caused loss of control and actually a crash landing. Okay, subsequent investigation found out that the remote control box actually received false signal from the HF communication transmitting antenna okay, located above the low wire due to inadequate shielding and cable termination. Okay, so this is also another real-life EMC problem occur in military. Okay, next, okay, this British ship, which caused stretch fuel, okay, they had the most sophisticated anti-missile defense system. Okay, so during this Far Land War okay, in 1982, okay, it, was, it was actually hit by a missile and they actually sank with heavy casualty. Okay, this was possible because the anti-missile system actually create an electromagnetic interference to radio communication system of Shetsfield Harrier Jack content assigned to the ship. So uh, in this ship, there's a mini jack. Okay, so when the Harrier actually took off and land, okay, the missile defense were actually disengaged. Okay, and this actually allowed the Harrier to do some communication. Okay, but however, when the mi missile defense actually was disengaged, this actually provide a window of opportunity for the missile. And this thing actually happened. Okay, so this is another case okay, involved the military. Okay, so this is my last real life example. Okay, this F-16 flight jet, they actually crashed in the vicinity of a BOA, Voice of America radio transmitter. Okay, because it fly by wire, flight control system was actually pick up the radio wave transmit and they actually caused an interference. Okay, so since this, F-16 is unstable. Okay, the pilot must rely on the flight computer to fly the aircraft. Subsequently, many of the F-16 were modified to prevent this type of EMI, electromagnetic interference, okay, caused by inadequate military spec on that particular electronic system. Okay, this F-16 case history was one of the driver for institution by the FAA of the certification program. Okay, another case actually occurred in 1984 near Munich in the German. Okay, a West German torpedo fighter actually crashed after flying too close to a powerful voice of America transmitter. Okay, so with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Okay, please help by like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.